Hi, my name is Cam Eschke. Today we're going to demonstrate LightBits solution for Cassandra workload in a containerized environment. LightBits Light OS is a software-defined disaggregation solution that separates storage and compute and maximizes utilization of the infrastructure. Light OS provides a remote pool of NVMe SSDs that can be shared with compute nodes anywhere in the data center using NVMe over TCP and deliver performance and latency that's equivalent to local SSDs. One of the critical challenges is that applications and services running at scale need to remain stateful as they migrate across the data center and keep services up. Using a containerized environment addresses these requirements because you can quickly spin up containers anywhere and bring them down with little overhead. Let's go to the lab and talk to Don. So we have a Cassandra cluster uh, being managed by Kubernetes. We have three active nodes. Each of the nodes has a containerized Cassandra application running on it, and they're disaggregating their storage over persistent volumes to LightBits software-defined storage. Okay. Let's look at the results. So what I'm running right here in the lab is a YCSB workload to uh, those three nodes, and we're seeing just one node here in our dashboard where we got 40,000 transactions per second. We ran this exact same uh, experiment with the NVMe SSDs directly installed in the DAS configuration for each Cassandra node. So that's shown here in one column. And then as we're getting these 40,000 uh, transactions back, we show the read and uh, update average latency as reported from LightBits to the application. And then we have uh, the read and update tail latency. So on the average side, we're very close to DAS, which is pretty incredible. But at scale, it's the tail that is really king. And that's what we're showing here in these green boxes that we're actually 5% lower for read tail latency and for update tail latency. So what about container migration? How do we help there? So that's what we're showing here in our demo. I've got here is the Kubernetes pod. And I'm logged in with the Kubernetes CLI to monitor and actually drain one of the nodes so that it evicts the, the Cassandra containerized application from one node and then brings in a new node to simulate a maintenance operation and see how fast that happens uh, using our persistent volumes through the container storage interface plugin from uh, LightOS. So what I'll do here is I'm over here on the Kubernetes CTL and I'm going to tell it to drain. So what's happening now is we've told Kubernetes I want to take that pod out. So it has started terminating the one of the three pods and evacuating it and about to spin up a new pod. And how long is that going to take? So the real wall clock time would be 67 seconds. Um, and that's because it's simply getting a hinted handoff and saying, OK, here, new uh, Cassandra uh, container, point to this LightOS uh, persistent volume using the container storage interface. And what if instead of LightOS, we're using DAS? Then it's completely relative to how much data has to be rebuilt on that new Cassandra node that's being spun up. So direct attached uh, is now data dependent. If you have terabytes of data that have to be rebuilt on one node, that's going to take a long time. So with LightOS, we can get dramatically faster migration of containers. Yeah, with LightOS, we're looking at a minute. And with your direct attached storage, it could be hours. We've shown here today how the LightOS solution can dramatically improve operational efficiency for containerized applications with latencies that are as good or better than direct attached storage. And all this with simple and efficient NVMe over TCP. No need to touch the clients or touch the network. Easy to deploy at scale with LightBits. Thank you for watching.